and I've lived here in Israel as a citizen, a dual U.S.-Israeli citizen, for almost 10 years. I've never seen missiles coming from the east. Okay? When, when rockets are coming from Gaza, they're coming from the west at Jerusalem. Okay? And so just the way our apartment is situated, we're looking east towards Jordan and the Jordan River Valley. So even when rockets are coming and the sirens are going off, as they did eight times on October 7th and, and, and many other times, it, uh, we don't see them coming. We hear the sirens, we take shelter in our bomb shelter in our apartment, and then we hear the boom, boom, boom of the concussion of the Iron Dome taking out those rockets. This time we actually saw the missiles. We saw the drones coming over Jordan at Jerusalem and uh, points uh, south and central in Israel. And that was surreal. It was surreal. Uh, in fact, there were three interceptions near our apartment before the sirens even went off. We knew it was coming. I was writing for all Israel news and keeping people updated and we were tracking all the local and international coverage and then boom, and we're like, what was that? It was strange to hear an explosion so near our home when there wasn't any sirens. And then moments later, boom, like shaking the apartment. And again, no sirens. So you think, well, this has to be it. It was just about the time around two in the morning when, you know, intelligence said that these, these drones and missiles would be arriving into Israel. Um, but we also were hearing that they were being intercepted on their way in, so we weren't even sure if we were going to see any, much less see, hear interceptions. Then another boom, uh, the third, and, and then the sirens went off. That was, I don't know why, but I'm just saying that's what happened.